the same perfumer that made Baccarat Rich 540 is the same perfumer that made this fragrance. my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time of stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you would like please click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be comparing Burberry from the house of Burberry with the latest release Burberry elixir i'm sure a lot of people get confused sometimes when new flankers like this come out and you don't know whether to buy it whether it's going to be the same thing as the og or if you're going to prefer it nobody has an idea but i'm here to help you guys out to know whether to get this or to just stick with this or if you don't have this whether to just straight up purchase this so if you want to know my thoughts on these two fragrances then keep watching so i'm going to be starting with this i've actually done a single review on this perfume before if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it up here i also have a dupe for this fragrance if you would love to see that video let me know in the comment section so i'll do a comparison for you guys this fragrance is described as fruity sweet woody musky and powdery the top notes of this fragrance are strawberry raspberry blackberry sour cherry blackcurrant mandarin orange and lemon it's quite packed at the top middle notes are violet and jasmine base notes are musk vanilla cashmere woody notes oak moss amber and patchouli even as this fragrance is packed with a lot of notes it's not a very complicated scent so when you spray this fragrance at first you get that strawberry you get that raspberry it's quite fruity at the top the florals in the mid starts to come in that's the jasmine and the violet to soften up that fruitiness so it doesn't make it entirely a fruity scent just imagine a lady putting on a flowery dress and she doesn't have any care in the world that's literally what this fragrance smells like it smells like a very carefree airy fruity floral scent that is not light i would not say this fragrance is light because it actually has a presence it has an amazing sillage it has an amazing projection that fills up the room but it doesn't fill up the room in a way that it's going to be choking it's like a happy scent just very pretty so this fragrance has been compared a lot of times to baccarat rouge 540 the same perfumer that made baccarat rouge 540 is the same perfumer that made this fragrance but i feel that this one is a fruity version of baccarat rouge 540 it literally smells like a strawberry floral scent it's just a very pretty fruity floral scent i would also recommend this as a wedding scent if you are a bride that is looking for a very elegant pretty scent that is not overpowering but at the same time it gets people's attention this is an amazing one so if you are a lady that loves girly fruity scents that is at the same time a little bit mature if you want to bring out that femininity in you this is an amazing scent for you so that is Burberry Hair by Burberry the next one I'll be talking about is Burberry Hair Elixir this is the recent release of the Burberry Flankers I think the Burberry Flankers include the Burberry Hair EDT the Burberry Hair EDP the Burberry Hair Intense and then this is the Burberry Hair Elixir I will describe this fragrance straight up as a strawberry milkshake the top notes of this fragrance are strawberry and blackberry middle note is jasmine they actually cut a lot of notes off this one then the base note is amber vanilla and sandalwood hmm. this fragrance just makes your mouth water like it just makes you thirsty because it literally smells like a strawberry milkshake so when you spray it at first you get that strawberry the jasmine comes in to smoothen it and soften it up and make it like a pretty fruity floral you definitely still get that baccarat rouge dna i think that's like the dna of this fragrance because i heard that the burberry intends to smell similar but then the beauty is the vanilla when the vanilla comes in it makes it a very intimate scent because it becomes very creamy added with that strawberry that's literally why it's called a strawberry milkshake scent because it has this milkiness this creaminess from the vanilla 
that just makes it so so edible so mouth watering if you need an intimate sexy fruity floral scent Burberry Heart Elixir is for you. I'm sure every lady would love because vanilla is every girl's best friend. So that's Burberry Heart Elixir. Now comparing these two fragrances, Burberry Heart is your pretty pretty floral girly scent that is attention grabbing and just amazing like a pretty wedding scent. While this one is more of a creamy, it still has that strawberry, blackcurrant, and jasmine. But the major notes in this one are the strawberry, the vanilla, and the jasmine. While this one, the strawberry, the jasmine, the violet, and the musk. So this is a more intimate, sexy version of Burberry Ha. While this one is the more girly, fruity, floral version of Burberry Ha. So it just depends on your preference if you want something like a wedding scent or you love pretty fruity florals just go ahead and get this one but if you still love that pretty fruity florals and you want to add like a little bit of sexiness and creaminess vanilla get the Burberry elixir i can't even decide which one is my favorite i actually love both of them but i feel that if you have Burberry hair you don't necessarily need to get Burberry Ha Elixir because you can pair Burberry Ha with any of your vanilla scents and you literally get this. But if you don't have this and you have this, I don't think you will need to get the OG because this one still has that OG DNA in it that smells very, very similar. The only difference is just that vanilla. That's the only difference between these two fragrances. So if you have this, you don't necessarily need to get this. And if you have this, you don't necessarily need to get this. But if you are just like me that likes to be extra <laughs> and you want to get boots in your collection, by all means, just get boots in your collection because they are amazing scents. So that's my thoughts on Burberry Ha and Burberry Ha Elixir. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. Are you more of a pretty floral, girly fragrance girl or you're a fragrance girl with a little bit of vanilla to top it up? let me know in the comment section or love to know your thoughts in the comment section unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop your sense of the day in the comment section or love to connect with you in the comment section thank you guys for tuning to bella's perfume diaries i'll be seeing you on my next episode bye